Hello everyone, this tutorial today is going to be on the pen tools. I know you guys are probably very confused about the pen tool. I, at first I had no idea what I was doing. It was very confusing and I was just like, oh my gosh. And so, but I really didn't learn it from any tutorial or anything because the tutorials, some of them were okay, but um, most of them were just plain confusing and not helpful. Especially this one in school that I had to do two times. I mean, it kind of helps you get the feel of the pen tool, but you really don't understand it just from doing it. It's like, it comes with Photoshop, I think, because I had to do this in two separate classes for two different teachers, but anyway. I'm going to go to File, New. I'm just going to make something um, Simple because I'm not really making a picture in this tutorial. I'm just helping you guys understand the pen tool. A new layer. Okay. Pen tool is right here. And you'll notice if you hold down, you have the pen tool, freeform pen tool, add anchor point tool, delete anchor point tool, and convert point tool. In Illustrator, you can actually drag this whole toolbar part from this tool out, but you can't do that in Photoshop, but anyway. The one thing to understand about the pen tool is that the the lines that you make are all dependent on whatever tool you use. I usually use a brush tool and all of this stuff, whatever. I'm going to use, um, I guess I'll use this one. And if we go to window, brushes, we can edit this stuff. Um, this is actually, can, pen pressure can affect it if you want it to, but I, you just have to realize um, it will fade in and fade out as you're drawing it. But you'll see what I mean when I go back there. So I'm going to leave it on pen pressure just for right now. Um, I'm not using a, t a pen tablet right now. I'm going to go to this lines. And I'm going to go back to the pen tool. I'm just going to click the random pen tool. Um, free pour pen tool, you'll notice, goes like this. And that would be my line. Uh, the cool thing is, is you can add anchor points to it. You notice it just added a whole bunch of them to the whole line. Um, and I can move them as much as I want just by clicking on them. Um, some, some words I guess you can use are these points right here that I'm pulling on, on both sides, are called handles. This one is an anchor. And these are just really points, anything in between the start and end. But um, that's important to understand. You want to stroke path. I'll show you what each of these do. Um, this one, I, you can see I have it on the brush tool. But if you notice, you can use any of these. But most people just use it really for line art, so I'm going to use brush. Stimulate pressure will do what I just said, so I'll show you guys that. And that's what it did. Now, if I do it without that, then that's what I get. And I'm using a soft brush, so that's why it looks so smooth. But, um, anyways. But the other thing to realize is that this line in general is not actually the line. It's, it's a path. And there's actually... a path window. And you can see this is what I have right now. This this was what it would look like if I go to go to fill path. Um, you can see it uses foreground color, background color, pattern, history, black, fifty percent gray or white. You can even give it a 
you could either give it a um, blend mode, which I usually use this opacity, feather radius, how much it will fade. And there we go. This is what it looks like. See how it matches that? Well, that is the f freeform pen. Um, we'll move on to pen tool in general. You'll notice this is actually a mask. The second one is what you want to do because this this one creates a mask. And this one really just is works by creating points. And you can notice I can drag this. I can go back. You notice that if you hover over this, it gets rid of it. So I'll just leave it there like that. If you hold down the control key, I can drag any of these handles that I want. You can also create a straight line if you want. It's not that hard. And I only have one handle, so I if you control click the point, it gives me another one. And now you notice I have a perfectly straight line. And you can see my work path. This this is what it will look like if I fill it in with uh makes or fill path. That part looks kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool for a drawing and make it look like you actually drew it. And the other cool part is you can make a selection. Feathered radius to new selection, anti-lace. And you notice it it um it selected the area in white here. So the path this path window, windows, paths, is actually can, can be quite useful, especially with the pen tool, depending on what you're using it for. But, that is the pen tool. Um, I can show you guys something I actually made with this picture I actually made with the pen tool. You can see I used a much thicker brush and stuff. It's kind of messy over here, but it was the first time I really ever made a picture at all with the pen tool. I was totally winging it at the time. But um, that is the pen tool. And I hope you guys all learned something. I can do like a video about me with me drawing it. and That would be kind of cool I guess if you guys want. It's up to you. But uh, just let me know what you guys want to see and stuff. So I guess that's it. Bye bye.